Welcome to Friday Morning Assembly. It is great to get back after our Thanksgiving break. We continue to appreciate our faculty, staff, and students' efforts to maneuver our way through this difficult time. Please continue your mask wearing properly, keep a safe distance, and follow all protocols. This is working, so let's keep it up, please. The light in the tunnel is starting to shine more each day. We must continue to be positive to one another and to ourselves as we make our way in a good direction. Faculty, staff, students, and great parental support have made this journey doable. Thanks so much for continuing with your support and patience. Now here's a quick message from the FBLA. Thank you, FBLA. Mr. Struthers, our athletic director, has a special award to present today. On behalf of the New Hampshire Athletic Director Association, we would like to present you with the 2019 Athletic Director Award. Congratulations to Mr. Skids. Our cross country teams and coaches have a very special presentation for us today. We'd like to present the 2019 cross country state championship banner to Headmaster Smith in the school. Thank you to everybody for your support. Congratulations to the cross country team on an incredible year. Next, we'd like to hear from Mrs. Grenier in giving us some valuable information regarding our class of 2021. Hello everyone, it's that time of year we start celebrating the successes of our seniors. Uh, so today we will begin our first round of college acceptances and post-secondary plans. Uh, first though, I would like to just say that we had a very successful I Am College Bound Day. We had 43 seniors that apply to over 85 schools and several of those students are gonna to start to hear about their acceptances. As part of that day, we also are able to offer a $500 scholarship to one lucky participant. That recipient this year is Allison Mackey, so congratulations. Um, she'll be presented with her check at the end of the year as part of senior celebrations. So now on to our initial round of acceptances. And if you've gotten a college acceptance and you haven't shared it with your counselor yet, please do so and we'll announce it at the next meeting. So Morgan Burnap um, accepted to Roger Morris University, Austin Carrier, both to Plymouth State and St. Anselm's, Addison Cox accepted to UNH, Deegan Hodgson will be joining the U.S. Air Force, Wyatt Mackey will be joining the U.S. Navy, Tessa Millette 
has been accepted to Colby Sawyer, St. Joseph's College of Maine. Emma Pennard has been accepted to Nova Southeastern University down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Cooper Sayers, Ohio Technical Institute. Luke Tazik, Siena College. Beatrice Tercy has been accepted to Husson College, St. Joseph's College of Maine and Plymouth State. Rachel Tuttle, Keene State, Plymouth State, University of Maine at Farmington and Colby Sawyer. Eliana Walk, both Franklin Pierce University and Colby Sawyer. And finally for today, Tanner Watton, White Mountain Community College. So congratulations to all of you seniors. A specific congratulations to our two young men so far who will be joining the military. Um, we hope that your senior year is going well and please let us know if we can help you in any way. Have a great day. Thank you, Mrs. Grenier, and we'll be looking forward to hearing about the class of 2021 as the school year moves forward. Next, uh, we would like to hear from uh, Ms. Vanity and Ms. Berry, uh, as they have some important recognitions to share with us, representing the voice of democracy. Hi guys, I'm here with Mrs. Beery, and we are here to announce the winners of this year's Voice of Democracy contest. The Voice of Democracy audio essay program provides high school students with the unique opportunity to express themselves in regard to a democratic and patriotic themed recorded essay. Each year, over 60,000 ninth through 12th grade students from across the country enter to win their share of more than $2.1 million in educational scholarships and incentives awarded through the program. We would like to thank the Northwood VFW for sponsoring us and awarding monetary prizes for local winners. This year, three winners were chosen and all three will be moving on to district judging. The winners are in third place, winning $50, Samara Kern. Yay! In second place, Nate Ford and Nate will receive $75. And our first place winner is Lillian Watton, winning $100 for her essay. Congratulations to all this year's winners and next year's scholar, uh, sophomores, sophomores, not scholarships. Make sure you participate in the program. Congratulations to the participants of the Voice of Democracy. Let's be so thankful today for all the things we have and not worried about the things that we don't have. And on that note, have a nice Friday.